Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How you doing on this fine day? Looking after yourselves? I really hope you are. I am in need of a haircut very badly. But today's video, we're going to be talking about something that me and Ven started last year, which is basically Don't Die July. It is a horror themed month. And it's one that I love. I love horror. I love reading horror. So basically, I'm just going to be talking about what books I'm planning on reading. I've got some buddy reads that I'm doing and definitely go check out these channels that I'm probably going to mention throughout the video. So let's do it. So, first thing I want to say is obviously Ven from Ven's Book Corner is with us on this. He was the one who actually named this month when I decided what theme I want to do the month. He was like, well, why don't we call it this? And it's become a thing. Don't die July. So, Ven at Ven's Book Corner, who's doing this, we're doing a buddy read. We're doing um, Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. Uh, I'll go through what the, the books are about in a bit. And then I'm also with Kat from Ginger Bibliophile. Yes, I nailed it. I managed to say it. Um, we're reading It. Uh, definitely go check out her channel as well. Links are down below. She's absolutely lovely, very quirky, very bubbly, and just has this amazing energy in herself. Just like Ven has his own energy as well. The books that I'm going to be reading. So definitely Dead Silence. This is going to be on the Kindle. So Dead Silence, a ghost ship, a savage crew, <laughs> unspeakable horrors. <laughs> Claire, oh my god, these names. I forgot about names. Oh no. It's very hot today, by the way. Claire Kovalik. Mm is days away from being unemployed made obsolete when her be beaker <laughs> when her beacon repair cr rip why am i struggling so much <laughs> no when her beacon repair crew nailed it my eyes are sweating picks up a strange distress signal with nothing to lose no, with nothing to lose. Why am I struggling so much? With nothing to lose and no desire to return to Earth, Claire and her team decide to investigate. What they find at the other end of the signal is a shock. The Aurora. 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 A famous luxury space liner that vanished on its maiden tour of the solar system more than 20 years ago. A salvage claim like this could set Claire and her crew up for life. But a quick trip through the Aurora reveals something isn't right. Whispers in the dark, flickers of movement, words scrawled in blood. Claire must fight to hold on to her sanity and find out what really happened on the Aurora before she and her crew meet the same ghastly fate. Bum, bum, bum. So that's not the first book by S.A. Barnes that I'm going to read, and I do have another one, but I'm doing a buddy read with Ven for that one. The other buddy read, obviously, I said is It by Stephen King. And this this book is chunky. This is like, what, 1,168 pages cut. I don't know how we're going to do this. How we're going to cope with this. I don't like clowns. Clowns are like a huge fear for me. But we're going to do it. I, I can do it if I've got someone with me. Cat, you're, 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 you're my uh, thunder buddy. <laughs> so, welcome to Derry, Maine. It's a small city, a place as hauntingly familiar as your own hometown. Only in Derry, the haunting is real. There were seven teenagers when they first stumbled upon the horror. Now, they are grown-up men and women who have gone out into the big world to gain success and happiness, but none of them can withstand the force that has drawn them back to Derry to face a nightmare without an end. <gasps> and the evil without a name. There my buddy reads. I'm excited to read them. I'm still shocked how big the book is there. I'm reading them on the Kindle, so I don't have these huge tombs of books. I've got enough tombs of books as it is. Trust me on that. But they are my bloody reads. So the next one is going to be All the Dead Lie Down by Kiri McCauley. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So the cover in this is beautiful, by the way. Absolutely love it. Um, Days after a tragedy leaves Mar- Oh my god, why? Why? Why do I struggle so much? Oh, the top bit says the sleeping house was very much awake. Dun dun dun! Or da da da! Days after a tragedy leaves Marin Blith alone in the world. She receives a surprising offer of a nanny position from Alice Lovelace, an acclaimed horror writer and childhood friend of Marin's mother. Marin accepts the, and soon finds herself minding Alice's peculiar girls, then hosts the, oh, Thea hosts funerals for her dolls while Ren does everything in her power to drive Marin away. Then Alice's eldest daughter returns home unexpectedly. Evie Hallowell, so, being a 90s kid, when people had the last name Hallowell, it was like, Ooh, witchcraft, 
charmed. Is every bit as strange as a young sister's, and yet Marin is quickly drawn in by Eve's compelling behaviour and ethereal grace. Oh yeah, this is this is LGBTQ, by the way. But as Marin settles in, she can't escape the anxiety that shadows her. Dead birds appear in Marin's room. The children's pranks escalate. Something dangerous lurks in the woods. All is not well at Lovelace's house, and Marin must un- r- r- unravel oh my God, mm, its secrets before they consume her. So yeah, uh, horror nanny book again. But the thing is, last time I read one was called The Whistling, and that did not go well. So I'm hoping this one just manages to do it a bit easier because I need a gothic horror that I actually enjoy again. And this is this is this is gothic horror with LGBTQ or alphabet assassins, as I like to call them. As being part of that, I'm allowed to. The next, this is one that me and Ven have looked at for a while. I don't know if Ven's going to read it. I know he plans to at some point, but it is Hex by Thomas Old Huvelt. I may be pronouncing that wrong. And the cover is... I didn't know there was a face at the top. Oh, the cover is beautiful. Oh, it's the shape of a person because of the trees are separating the arms. Simple things, people. Simple things. I'm so stupid. Anyway, welcome to Black Spring, a picturesque town with an ugly secret. A 17th century woman with sewn shut eyes and mouth walks its streets, enters its homes, watches its people when they sleep. They call her Black Rock Witch. So accustomed to her presence, the the townsfolk often forget what will happen, if her eyes ever open. To protect themselves, the Black Spring elders use high-tech civilians to quarantine the town. Frustrated with the lockdown, the town's teenagers decide to break the rules and go viral with the haunting. But no one foresees the dark nightmare that awaits them all. This is something I've been eyeing for a while. I've been wanting to read it for a while. I know there's like a, a second book that somewhat kind of connects the character in this to something else. But uh, excited to read this one. So I'm going to absolutely butcher the name of this author. So this is Trolls by Stefan Bujit. I am so sorry if I've butchered that. Um... This book is gorgeous, but it's freaking huge, by the way. But the writing is a decent size, so it's not like tiny, tiny writing. What if a large wolf escapes his captors? A cult leader breaks out of psychiatric care. A disillusioned... Disillusioned woman is forced to end her self-imposed exile. Stefan's latest novel explores the ancient notion that our forests may be inhabited by beings we do not understand. Creatures neither animal nor human, living in the shadows. Thriller Hall of Fiction Suspense Trolls offers an unforgettable journey to the shape-shifting landscape of the far north. Scandi Horror. I'm excited to read this. Uh, I've wanted to get into like other kind of like versions of horror, especially with different like places and stuff like that. It was normally it's going to be America or England, but I've never read anything to do with Scandinavian, so I'm excited for this. And the last one, which I had a lot of issue guessing here in the UK... I pre-ordered this months and months in advance, um, and when it was set to be published, I didn't write, I didn't get the book, and I ended up waiting a month while prodding Waterstones to, to get it, and eventually the, the person did, so I appreciate her finally getting hold of it for me, and that is Ghost Station by S.A. Barnes. Now, I've been wanting to read, I've been so fucking excited for this, so I'm, I'm so ready to read this already. So, an abandoned planet, a hidden past, a deadly danger. Oh, <laughs> double E's. Psychologist Dr. Ophelia Bray has dedicated her life to the study and, oh my god, prevention of Eckhart Razor Syndrome, ERS, the most famous case of which resulted in the brutal murders of 29 people. It's personal to her, and when she's assigned to a small exploration crew who recently suffered the tragic death of a colleague, she wants to help. But as they begin to establish reticency on an abandoned planet, it becomes clear that the crew is hiding something. And Ophelia's crewmates are far more interested in investigating the eerie ancient planet and unnerving the mist, unrevealing, oh god, unraveling is the word I'm meant to be saying, the mystery behind the previous colonizer's hasty departure and then opening up to her. That is, until their pilot is discovered gruesomely murdered. Is this Ophelia's worst nightmare starting a wave of violence and mental dis- deterioration from ERS? Or is it something even more sinister? Terrified that history will repeat itself, Ophelia and the crew must work together to figure out what's happening. But trust is hard to come by, and the crew members aren't the only ones keeping secrets. I don't know which one I'm going to read first, to be honest. I'm excited to read all of them. But, uh, I definitely think other people should definitely be doing Don't Die July. If you do Don't Die July, oh my god, why am I so tongue-tied today? 
just just tag us in it. We want to see what kind of books you're going to be reading this month. Like me and Ven and Kat, we're excited to do this. Let like tag us. Let us know what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be reading for this month. I know it's been a couple of days. A lot of stuff's been going on this past month in general. It's been very stressful, and I'm sorry my videos have been a bit sparse as of late. Hopefully to get back into that. Um, gonna we're gonna have a couple more videos coming up very soon. We're gonna be one about. Uh, we're going to be doing a Lone Wolf Live again. We've got a reading sprint happening very soon. I've got some reviews that I'm going to be doing. I'm also got a video going up about where I'm going to talk about my pets. Because I, you know, there's there's Phoenix, my little my little crusted gecko. But I, I have like a weird like zoo thing going on. Because I've got snakes, geckos, a tarantulas, dog, cat. I'm going to show you them. I want to I introduce you to the actual family of this place. But... I'm going to end it there. You all stay awesome and amazing. I can't wait to see what kind of stuff you're reading for the month in July. And just stay awesome. Love, love. Make good decisions in life.